smoke. Hello everyone. Uh, I'm putting up this video today to show you how to convert any SROMs into GBA ROMs. And it's fairly simple. So we're going to start off by going to this website. I will be putting this link down in the description so that way it is easy access. Uh, and once you do, this website is up to date. Um, this is what you're going to download. You're going to download this right here. It's the only thing you can download. Uh, it's the pocket, the pocket nest. This is the application we're going to use. So once you do download that, uh, it's going to be a raw file. We're going to go ahead and extract all that. Um, menu maker, that's your readme folder, uh, file. Uh, but we're not going to worry about that because I'm going to teach you how to use this. It's very, very easy. Uh, get whatever NES ROMs you, you have that you want to play on your Game Boy Advance. And you're going to move those RAR files into the same area. I would make a folder. You're going to move it into the same area that all this stuff is in. So wherever you unzipped your pocket nest menu maker, that's where you're going to put your NES ROMs. So once you do that, you're going to open up this executable uh, program, the pocket nest menu maker, open that up and you will see your NES games show up in this menu. And once that's there, all you have to do is hit this, this button right here, just, and that's it. That's, that's all you do. And we have a Game Boy Advance handy right here. Now I made this video for, uh, for, for basically for the, for anyone who has a flashcard, uh, I mean, if, if you're on the computer or you have a, like a system, there is NES emulators, but for anyone who wants to take their NES games on the go, especially if they have these flashcards, um, that's for them. Uh, someone, I will be do doing a shout out, uh, probably like a written shout out in the description uh, to the person that asked the question. But yeah, someone asked, hey, can you convert NES ROMs into GBA ROMs? And you can. Uh, it's a fairly old program. Uh, once I get my my flashcard, which I'm getting this one, I will be doing a review on that, and I will be putting uh, a pocket nest menu that I made on there to sh showcase it as well. But for now, we'll just use the Game Boy Advance emulator. So I'm just going to drag this here. I'm not going to worry too much about that. Um, there is sound on this menu right now. I have uh, my GBA muted because the music is pretty loud. Oh, no. I guess I don't have it muted. Uh, no, I do. So, yeah, it plays a pre... Like, it just starts the game. Whenever you're, you're like, hovering over the game, it just starts it. And um, to activate the game, you just hit the start button, and you can start playing. Like I said, it's very, very easy. So I hope this helps you guys out. I hope this helps y'all enjoy your games wherever you may go. Uh, long live uh, the old school gamers that are out there because we all know that the old school games are the best games. And that game is very difficult. <laughs> but uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Uh, like, share, subscribe. I'm going to keep trying to put more co content out there um, on obscure stuff, you know, stuff you don't really get too much info on. So, uh, yeah, enjoy your new toys.